computer. Turn on light 1. Computer. Turn off all devices. In this video, we will learn about home automation with voice with Node MCU and Alexa Eco Dot using Famox ESP. Now, Famox ESP is a library for ESP8266 based devices that emulates Philips Hue lights and thus allow you to control them using this protocol. In particular, from Alexa power devices like Imagine Eco Dot. So, let's learn detail about it and components required. So we need Node MCU ESP8266 2LE module. We need four channel relay module, Eco Dot second generation from Amazon. Uh, we need 2x mini breadboard, some of the female, male female Dupont cables, and uh, finally five volt power supply that is adapter or any sort of battery. So this is an Alexa module that is capable of voice integration, music playback making to-do listing, setting alarms, streaming podcasts, playing audiobooks, and providing weather, traffic, and real-time information. Alexa can also be used to control several smart devices using itself as a home automation hub. We'll use on this product EcoDot that allows users to activate the devices using a wake word such as Alexa or computer. So this is the circuit diagram. We are just using a 4 channel relay that is connected to node MCU with 5 volt power supply that will control the 4 relay home automation using voice command. So this is the program. Now the program section contains the header file for ESP32 and Wi-Fi.h as well as ESP8266 Wi-Fi and it also includes Max ESP dot S. But before going to upload it directly, we need to add some of the files. Now, what are those files? So first, uh, go to the preference, and we need to add a board because this Arduino ID doesn't have a board currently. So add this additional board manager URL. Uh, you need to add a link now the link is given in the description below copy paste the link from the below and directly hit enter so this is the link now why this link is required now we will learn later first copy this link and paste it over here now click on ok now go to the tools now you need to select node mcu board but there is no node mcu board or any board that is related to iot so first we need to add the board that is why the link was added there so that we can download the board so go to the board manager just enter esp8266 so this is ESP8266 community and I have already installed 2.3.0 version over here. If you haven't installed any of this version, you can just edit from here. So just edit or install it. It is about 150 MB so it will take so much time for downloading. Now after that you can see the board section. So at this section you can see there are so many board that boards that are already added that is related to iot board like node mcu so select node mcu 1.0 cpu frequency flash file and upload speed leave it as it is now you need to add three different library i have already given the link in the description below so download the zip file now extract the zip file so after extracting you will get three different library file so you need to add so go to sketch add dot zip library file 
view the link where the file is downloaded so one by one you have to add all these three libraries so i have already added a library so it is saying it already exists so i have added all the three libraries here now it is almost done means that is completed now you need to edit the wi-fi access id means give any name whatever you like for example i will give the name of my channel that is how to electronics set your wi-fi password for example i am setting it as 1234568983 as well do whatever you like now upload the same file in your node mcu after connecting it save the file save the file with any name now you can see the compiling is going on so finally the code is compiled so compiling is done so this is what you need to do now let's see the demonstration of the project once you upload you will see the demonstration computer turn on light one computer turn on light two computer turn on outlet one computer turn off light one computer turn off all devices computer turn on bedroom computer turn off bedroom